this episode. So here I've pulled up our map and I'm looking at where everything is. So this is one of the reasons why I really like the map writer, mini map. So here we are, this is our base here. And this is where the end portal is. So it, it is definitely a good distance in the overworld. I could run there, it'll take a while. I would like to go ahead and set up a, uh, another portal. So I'm going to show you here in the nether dimension where it is. This is our relative location. And this is where the end portal room is, where we built a nether portal. So basically what we want to do is we're going to come into the nether here, and this is the opposite direction from where everything else is here. And so I think if we just kind of come out straight this way here and, and locate this one here, um, then we'll go ahead and build another nether portal. And uh, that one should link to the one in the overworld over here. Now, if you want to see kind of the difference in um, distances, here you can see where the uh, nether fortresses and the blaze spawners that I had, if we compare that to their location in the overworld, you can see how far away they are in the overworld. Uh, which is a significant distance. So um, there is the jungle with the castle there in the overworld. Uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, let's get to the nether and take care of the uh, the ender dragon. So let's try and make that happen. Now let's see. I think the only thing we're missing is probably the chest and the food. We got the food. Um, I guess we just make a chest. I'd definitely like to have it before we go, though. I don't want to have to try to make it while we're out there. So, let me just grab two pieces of wood here. And there we go. Now we've got the chest to put their food in so that they can eat while we're fighting, though, honestly, they should be more concerned about, um, you know, the fight than whether or not they're hungry. So I'm just going to look and see if anything new popped in here. Let's see, there's some more obsidian. And let's see, a little bit of iron. And looks like that's it. That is done. Let me see how much food is left in here. Let me go ahead and grab a little bit out of here just to make sure these guys have plenty. Though without a chunk loader, it's not really going to make any difference. And let's see, I saw you, let's go ahead and repack you, and we just put you in here. Since we don't have the, anything for the miner to do. And let's get to the nether. We have lots of arrows, we've got good armor, we've got a decent sword, we've got some NPC archers to go with us. Now, unfortunately, um, where we need to go is the opposite direction of where our railroad is. So, um, hopefully this pickaxe will survive. I don't... I shouldn't really have to dig too far. So, at this point, what we want to do is we're going to go into the map, and I'm going to click on this one to highlight it. And then when I go out, you'll see up on the mini-map that it shows a box around it. What that allows you to do is set a destination for yourself, and you can keep track of which way you need to go. Let's see. Um, I shouldn't need anything out of here. Yeah, I might go and take a little bit of that cobble, just to, uh, you know, in case I need some building blocks. I'd rather use cobble than uh, netherrack. All right, so let's go ahead and let this build. So we need to go pretty much straight this way. Okay, this should be pretty fast digging. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and put that cobblestone right there so it's quicker for me to get to it. And hopefully 
we don't run into a great big chasm here. But at least we are safe from ghasts here. Okay, let's see where we are. I think I'll throw a couple of torches here. And let's see. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Well, we just need to get down there. Now I'm wishing I had some gravel. Okay, let's see if we can find a way down. Hmm. I want to see... Can I see how much is underneath me? Doesn't look like there's much. Okay, uh, maybe I should have brought some gravel. Now let's see if we can get down over this way, since this is going towards our <laughs> final destination anyway. Looks like... Ooh, there's somewhat of a way down over there. That doesn't look all that great. Okay, here's some nice lava. Let's go and get past that. Uh-oh. See you. Alright, so which one do we want to use? Probably just our power four here. Should be a one-shot kill. Alright, well, you know what, maybe I'll just dig through this, and hopefully not run into that lava. Yeah, it's gonna be there. One is for a gas to shoot me. Ah, uh -uh. get out of here. <coughs> I've already fallen to my death by having a gas to shoot the ground out from under me. And it was not fun. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Let's see what's out here. I may need to go back and get some gravel. So if I can't find a safe way down, we're in trouble. Yeah. Alright, I think I need to go back and get some gravel. So, this is just not a safe way to do this. I'd rather take a little bit of extra time than, uh, extra damage. And risk the possibility of death. I might even have some here. Let me go ahead and check. Some gravel in here? 18. Not gonna be enough. I really don't think so. Nope. Alright, well, let's go ahead and go back to the overworld and we'll grab some gravel. So, sorry for the delay, guys. Why do you have... Okay, that was just weird. He was carrying a ladder. Where did he get a ladder? I mean, he must have gotten it from the pit over there, but... Let's see, do I have any gravel in here? I don't think so. No, nope. Cobblestone. Wool. No. Nope. Let's see, was there any left over here? I know I used a lot. 
already. Gravel, gravel, gravel. No. No. Is there any in here? Any gravel? Okay, that's a decent amount. That will at least give me a stack if, uh, if I grab what's in the nether, too. Let me just see if I've got any over here. I'm sure I don't, but I'm going to look anyway. Ah, okay. I got gravel. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I looked. I would have hated to have died trying to get through the nether and respawn back here just to find out that, uh, you know, I should take a bed with me, huh? Well, you know, we're going to the end. It doesn't matter. There's no daytime or nighttime. Now, I know if you try to put a bed in the nether, it explodes. I don't know what happens if you try to put one in the end. Probably the same thing. Okay. Back to the nether. Alright. Let me go and get this gravel ready, because I'm going to need that more than I need this. But I will have that on my hotbar in case I need it. Let's go. Hello, pigman. Okay. So, thankfully it's not too far. Now the question is... Where are the ghasts? I think I want to go back into this little... area I made here, because I know it's you know, kind of safe here. And then I'm going to get... Maybe I'll just poke my head out right here. Right, and get it shot off by a ghast. Whew. Okay. Thankfully that took care of that pretty quickly. Alright, let's just drop some gravel. Uh-oh, there's another one. Where'd you go? I must have missed. Okay. So there's 25. And uh, we're maybe halfway. That is a long way down. Getting closer. Oh, I didn't bring a shovel, did I? Do I have a shovel? I do not have a shovel, but I have wood, so I can make a shovel. Okay, so I need a crafting table. I have no sticks, but I brought wood. Okay. Oh, always bring a backpack. You never know when you're going to need something that you forgot to bring. I'm not going to worry about an axe since that won't break. But I hear quite a few gas. I'm going to look out here again real quick and see if I see any more. Oh, one of them can see me. Where was that? Where did that come from? Did you guys see him? I don't see a ghast. I don't see where he shot. Where are you, Ghast? I do not want to poke my head out and have him shooting fireballs and hit that gravel. Oh, there he is. Thankfully, their fireball dies when they die. 
So I don't hear any more right now. Okay. Did he break any of my gravel? Alright, this is definitely going to be a long way down. Now, let's see. While I'm safe, I want to look at the map again here real quick. Let me go ahead and just throw some netherrack up here so that if another one shows up, it can't see me. Okay, so let's look at our map. This is where we're going. It's at an elevation of 39, so we want to be at about the same elevation. So let's go ahead and get our cobblestone ready, because once we get down, we're going to have to build a platform at about that level, and that diamond pick is almost gone. Okay, let's go and hope there's no ghasts. I don't hear any, so I think we're all right. So we want to get down to about level 39. The closer we are, the better, but it doesn't have to be exact, because it will link up. I wonder if I'm going to get another tier out of this. So it looks like pretty much right here at ground level. That would definitely be close enough. Come on. Okay, I'll take care of that for us. Mm, if he dropped a tear, I must uh, it must have gotten burned up. Hmm. Oh well. All right, so we still need to go over this way a little bit. So, right over there somewhere. Maybe I'll just dig my way up through this. Okay. Need to go up two more levels. Alright, now technically that's at the, at the right level, because what you see there is your eye height, not your feet height. Okay. I see light. That may or may not be good. Okay, well, we know... Yeah, we can make it a right around here. That's fine. Okay. Definitely want to turn this into... Cobblestone. Okay, so pretty much right here, I guess. Hopefully there's no lava up there. I don't think there is. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get our materials out. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. That should be okay. Since it's completely covered here in netherrack, I shouldn't need to worry about covering, you know, making a, a roof on it. Alright, so we got you, and we got you. So, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Alright, this one should link up with the one at the end portal. Let's go. And there we are. Welcome back. Exactly what we wanted. 
Everything here looks good. Don't really care about mobs out there. So let's go ahead and pull out our Eyes of Ender. One, two, three. All right, there's our portal. This is where, um, you know, in the old game types, you would save your game so that uh, if anything went bad, <laughs> you would uh, you'd have a, a recent save. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out our stone. Uh, let's get rid of this stuff. That's just kind of extra at this point. Okay, so piston can stay in there. Let's go ahead and get our arrows. You know, anything I don't need to carry, I'm just going to toss. So we don't need rotten flesh. We don't need netherrack. All right, you know, let's get rid of this netherrack, too. Okay, some nether quartz. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of nervous here. Okay, shouldn't need to make any more tools. There's our archers. Okay. Well, you know what? I, I'm not going to bring the archers out first, I don't think. I'm going to have to make a platform or something, depending on where we spawn. Um, definitely take... Well, you know, I shouldn't I shouldn't need those yet. Um, man, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's just go through, and um, if I need to, I guess I'll pop these guys down. Okay, and maybe they'll at least keep the Ender Dragon off of me. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, nice. That's actually uh, pretty decent. All right, definitely want to get away from there, though. Okay, let's see what we can see. Can we see? All right, I see some of those there. Uh-oh. Got an Enderman that thinks he's a... a mean guy, huh? Okay. Now, as long as I make the roof too high... The Enderman can't get to me. That, of course, won't stop the Ender Dragon. But at least I'll have kind of a safe place from the Enderman if uh, things get too nasty. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out the rest of our stuff here. We got that. Let's get some food in there. Um, you know, I wonder if I should even put that down yet. Just because I don't know how far I'm going to have to go, but it should be okay. So we got food. What else do I need out of my backpack? You and you. Okay, put the rest of those in there. Well, so far it's nice and quiet, so that's a good thing. Okay, let's get rid of things I don't need right now. Okay. <coughs> uh, you know what, I should probably actually have some, some stones there if I need them. Alright, so, uh, Master Baton, I'll put it... Yeah. Okay, so... I guess we'll go ahead and put these guys out. Okay, that's why I already commanded this thing here. So they at least know where to go. Let's see. Upkeep target here. Let's see what happens if I tell them to attack one of these guys. Will they? Nope. They will not attack Ender. 
So, Endermen are not on their list of things to attack. Let's not even worry about it. Now, let's see if I can get them to attack that. The crystal. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go, guys. Let's see, I want this here. With me. Oh, there he is. No, that one's not going to hit him. Oh, come on, I should have got that one. Come on, you guys, get over here. Uh oh, they're too far away. Ah! Come on, you guys, get over here. Come on, you're out of range. Get up here. That one's going to be hard to hit. Or not. What? Come on, you guys, get over here. Attack unknown. I gotta change my ra radius on this thing. Where are they? Or where is the Ender Dragon? Hi! Hey, there it is! Where are you? Here, there it is. Attack! There we get that one. Please get away from me. Well, those guys don't seem to be doing very much good. These are not much help. Could have brought swordsmen. Shooting at him. Come on, you guys, let's go. I mean, I didn't worry about that one. Oh, great. They're all going for food. Yeah, maybe I'll bring it up, up here with me. Where are you, dragon? There you are. 
Oh yeah, that's it. Come right at me. Come at me, bro. Yeah, this doesn't seem like it's going to be too tough. I'm trying to get them to attack it. So far, it's not doing a lot of good. Come on. How did that miss? on TV. Well, maybe I'll try and go get that last tower. Where was it? Was it a... It was one of the really big ones over here, wasn't it? Shut up. Really? You want some of this? Yeah, I didn't think so. Come on, dragon. Are there any other towers? There you are. Get back here. Seriously? Get off me! I'm gonna end your face, Enderman. Oh yeah, I heard ya. Oh, where'd he go? I can't see him. Oh, come on, that should have been a hit. Okay, this is kind of anticlimactic. Sorry, guys. I really thought this was going to be a more interesting fight. I guess I'd have to say the Wither is a better fight. Yeah, I'm about ready to jump up on one of these platforms and just use my sword. If I can get it to come down. Yeah, these archers just aren't doing anything. Ah, 
was trying to eat, and I switched to the wrong weapon. Now, I guess I'll go back with these guys and see if I can get them to follow me. Come on. I did not even look at you. Man, I cannot get any double hits. Get out of my way. Come on, dragon. Is that you way out there? There you are. Come on. <laughs> oh, that was an awesome shot. you see how far I led that one? That was awesome. Come on, Ender Dragon. You're almost making me feel bad for killing you. Which I will do. A double... Oh, almost a triple. How are we doing on arrows? Ah, oh, we're good. Seven and a half uh, stacks worth seems to have been enough. And man, my archers are not doing anything. Come on, Ender Dragon. Wow, I guess I really need to apologize. I really thought this was going to be a better battle. I mean, is this what people are afraid of? How could you be afraid of this thing? I mean, granted, if he hits you a couple of times, you know, he could kill you in one hit if you didn't have, you know, decent armor, but... I mean... You know, I am in normal. Maybe on hard. It'll be a different story. Which is totally what I want to do for next season. Ah! Get away from me! Come here, you! Get away from me! Come on, archers. Do something. I got Enderman after me. Come on, bring it on. I think it's about time for a bucket of water. Oops. Anybody else want some here? Yeah, I'll hit you with my sword, buddy. I don't have any problem hitting you with my sword. Come here, yeah, take that. Pick up my water. You know, let's try the flame bow. See if that'll set them on fire. Nope. Come on, get another one. You know, I'm going to finish you with my sword. Come on, get over here. All right, so flame's not a big deal against this guy. Definitely power is your better option. Come on, Ender Dragon. And we're right at the wrapping up point, too. Come on. I'll take my sharpness four against you. Come on. All right, see if I can snipe you out of the air, then. Nope, that's a miss. Oh, eat it. Come on. I 
Almost clipped you in the wing there. Oh, I was looking forward to a headshot. Come on! I'm going to finish you off with my sword. Maybe I shouldn't, because I don't want to accidentally fall through the uh, end portal. Or the portal back home. Come on. Make sure he's over land somewhere. Ah, one more hit. All right, I'll take you on with a sword. Come on. Come at me, bro. Come on in. Where are you, Enderman? Or Ender Dragon? You're here. I know you are. Well, I guess until I see his name up on top, we're okay. He didn't die somehow, did he? Nope, there it is. Come on, come and get me! Take you out right here. Come on, come on down. I should punch him, huh? Nope, here it comes. There we are. Eat it. Woohoo! Experience! Okay, we have defeated the Ender Dragon. We have defeated the Wither. We have defeated zombies and skeletons. Yeah. Okay, there's our egg. And we're just going to cover this up a bit. I haven't actually done this. I've seen it done. So, from my understanding, I make sure he can't push me through the portal. Take a piston and a lever. Oops. And you make it so that the piston faces it. Stick a lever on it. Hit it. And there we have it. Dragon egg. Alright. Let's go home. We've got our trophy. All right. So this is pretty much the end of Season 1, Ancient Warfare. And uh, we did get to play a lot with Ancient Warfare. We also got to explore a lot of vanilla Minecraft. We got to see how to automate things and how to make some siege engines. We got to find some nice world gen castles and fortresses. And uh, really it was kind of an exploration with what you can do with Ancient Warfare. Uh, the archers weren't much use against the Wither, but I think they were a lot more effective against the Wither than they were against the Ender Dragon. I think it's just because of range. Um, most mobs, uh, like skeletons, anything with a bow, they're not going to shoot you if you are more than, you know, I don't know, 10 blocks away. So if the Ender Dragon is less than, or I mean is more than whatever that default range is, they're not going to try to shoot at, a, at it. Whereas we, as players, we will shoot, you know, as far as we can see to try to get, you know, to hit our target. Um, 
with the wither, uh, I did have the obsidian roof over us, which did force it to stay down at a certain level. But even when we were out in the open there and not underneath that obsidian roof, the wither was still fairly close. So he was in range of the archers. And so they were a little bit more effective. Um, of course, while fighting the wither, there's so many things coming at you that it was kind of hard for me to see how much uh, they were actually shooting at it. Um, uh, so I guess they would probably be a little bit uh, more effective. One thing that might be kind of cool would be to make like a, a coliseum type arrangement for f fighting the wither, something, or any other boss, something where you spawn them into a great big open area and you have walls around the edge, just like in the coliseum, but with ancient warfare, ma maybe throwing up some uh, ballistas or cannons or catapults with grape shot or the uh, the the rock whatever that was that was kind of like a, a a shotgun and just set them up there with uh, a chest for food and they can just keep kind of shooting at things that might work so when we go into season two um, I am gonna have ancient warfare and so we could try something like that especially against some of the other bosses uh, I do want to bring in um, the Chocolate Quest mod, which used to be called uh, Dungeon Pack or something like that, uh, which has the Walker Castles, and, and it's got some other bosses and stuff like that. And I think it might be cool to go ahead and try to take one of those with some of these NPCs. And then, uh, let's see, uh, Ars Magica has some bosses as well. Uh, it's got like six or seven different bosses now, and those guys are pretty tough. I don't think these archers or the uh, siege engineers would do very well if it targeted them, just because they're not going to have any type of magical resistance. Now, I suppose I could make them with leather armor, or I could probably even put some of the other like Ars Magica armor on them or some kind of armor from another mod and enchant it to give them magic resistance on their armor, that wouldn't be a problem. So, uh, you know, some cross-mod compatibility there to check out. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that uh, that might definitely be a, a nice thing to do. Plus, there are some other things you can do where uh, you can make casters to cast spells for you. Uh, there are other blocks that can be activated when you walk over them, but I don't know if that will work for NPCs. Uh, but they do cast spells, like regen, or um, instant health, or something of that nature. So, definitely, definitely a lot of things to look at for Season 2. Uh, I have had a lot of fun. I can tell you guys, honestly... This is the first time I've ever gone and fought the Wither. First time I've ever gone and fought the Ender Dragon. And not because, you know, I was afraid to do it or anything. It just... Uh, I, I would keep playing and mods would update and I would create a new world before I had ever gotten to that stuff. Uh, especially when I was learning some of the early FTB mods where, uh, like, Buildcraft and IC2, you had so many different things to build, so many machines, and, and just a lot of different things to play around with, that it wasn't, uh, it was more about the exploration of the mods than really, you know, f fighting the boss. But now that there's so many more bosses and, and other things to do for gameplay, uh, I think, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to go ahead and do some of these things and see how, um, we can use those mods to benefit us, especially with the Wither, because there are some mods out there that have some really good uses for those uh, Nether Stars. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to that. Thanks a lot, guys. We hit uh, 51 subscribers today. Um, <clears throat> absolutely amazing. Uh, I will be working on some type of a mini game special, I think, with Buttigare, and uh, we'll get that put up so that uh, you guys can just kind of see a different side of of, of my play. Um, PvP uh, is a lot of fun. Uh, I've always been really 
uh, I've always really enjoyed first-person shooters, so definitely looking forward to doing something like that. And then, you know, um, yeah, just looking forward to having a good time. Thanks again, guys. Uh, I, I guess uh, I guess I love you guys because I get to do this for you, and that's more important than doing it for myself. Um, so it looks like we're about done here with the uh, the credits here. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, maybe let these finish out. So with that, guys, Season 2 will be starting very quickly. Uh, make sure if you want any mods added to it, you let me know. Um, anything that doesn't have World Gen, I can add in at any time. So I'm going to look at my list and see which ones have World Gen and make sure that those are in there. A lot easier to take something out. Uh, that we're using that we don't like than it is to um, add something new and try to do a retro world gen. <sighs> and the universe said, I love you. And the universe said, you have played the game well. And the universe, you said, and the universe said, everything you need is within you. And the universe said, you are stronger than you know. And the universe said, you are the daylight. And the universe said, you are the night. And the universe said, the darkness you fight is within you. And the universe said, the light you seek is within you. And the universe said, you are not alone. And the universe said, you are not separate from every other thing. And the universe said, you are the universe, tasting itself, talking to itself, reading its own code. And the universe said, I love you because you are love. And the game was over, and the player woke up from the dream, and the player began a new dream, and the player dreamed again, dreamed better, and the player was the universe, and the player was love. You are the player. Wake up. Ah, oh, my home bed was missing or obstructed. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys what you can do with Map Rider since uh, we've technically beat the game. Oh, hey, look, those things must have fallen through. So if you bring up your map and you pick one of the uh, markers that you've selected and you hit the T key on the keyboard, it will instantly transport you. That is if you are um, an op on a server or if you have, uh, I believe it's enabled by default on a single player world. So at this point, let us make a pedestal. Huh, all my NPCs are still there. There we go, there's our dragon egg. Okay guys, thanks for watching. This ends season one. Uh, I will still have the world, so if there's something that you guys maybe want to uh, to see me do here with what we've already got set up. Uh, go storm a castle. Um, you know, anything of that nature. Just let me know. Why are you on the floor? Let me know, and uh, we'll go explore it. Um, if there's anything, like I said, just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in Season 2. Thanks, guys.